Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Before we start, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get a new notification every time I post a new video. Today we're going to be looking at the top 5 most popular single engine turboprops that are in the world. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us. Number 5. Piper Malibu Meridian. This plane is a very nice personal plane. It can take off within 1,800 feet, climb out at 1,550 feet per minute. It can cruise up to 300 miles per hour and up to 30,000 feet. You only need one pilot to do so, and you can bring along five family members, five friends, or whatever you want for the ride. You and your friends can fly for more than 1,000 miles to your vacation spot. And this plane only needs 2,000 feet to land. The aircraft exchange currently has Piper Malibu Meridians on the market for an average of 1.1 million. Number 4. The Cessna Grand Caravan. This plane can be used for everything. Personal, cargo, corporate, or even a small airliner. Whether flying for land purposes or seaplane purposes, it can get the job done. For what this plane can carry, it does not need a lot of runway to land or take off. The plane flies for nearly 900 miles at a maximum speed of 210 miles per hour, and it could climb up to 25,000 feet at 970 feet per minute. Also, according to the configuration of the cabin, it can hold up to 14 passengers, and it only requires one pilot. The aircraft exchange currently has Grand Caravans on the market for an average of 1.6 million. Number three. Many people say that this plane is in direct competition with the Grand Caravan. In my opinion, the Caravan is more dominant, but this list is for the most popular planes. Let's see what got this aircraft in the top three. This aircraft is no joke too. It can fly up to 25,000 feet, climbing at rates of 1,300 feet per minute. And as insane as this sounds, it only needs 900 feet of runway to take off. It is versatile and built for tough situations. It can cruise at a maximum speed of just over 200 miles per hour. It is built for six people and it only requires one pilot to fly and it can go as far as 840 miles. The aircraft exchange currently has Quest Kodiaks on the market for 1.9 million on average. Number two, TBM 930. This plane is number two for a reason. It is fast. This plane can fly up to 370 miles an hour. It can reach heights of 31,000 feet, climbing in at over 1,900 feet per minute. It only needs just under 1,500 feet of runway to take off. It can carry up to six passengers flying in style for over 1,700 miles. This plane can be flown with one or two pilots, and the aircraft exchange currently has TBM 930s on the market for an average price of 4 million. Number one, the PC-12 NG. The look speaks for itself. This is as close to a jet-like aircraft you can get in a single engine. It can fly as far as 1,840 miles. It can hold up to 10 passengers and one pilot, flying at altitudes of 30,000 feet, and can climb over 1,900 feet per minute, flying at speeds of 320 miles an hour. It can be used for almost anything air ambulance, surveillance, search and rescue, airline transport, whether it's corporate or commercial, and even cargo. There's a reason it's known as the world's greatest single engine. The aircraft exchange currently has Pilotus PC-12s on the market for an average price of two and a half million. This is a bonus, the Cessna Denali. It hasn't been released yet. Once it's released, it will definitely join this list of top 5 single turboprop airplanes. You may have not heard of this plane until now because it's still under development. It's said to be in direct competition with the PC-12 and TBM. It is forecast to be released in 2020, with its first flight happening in the third quarter of 2018. It will host 7 to 9 passengers, cruising at altitudes of 31,000 feet at speeds of up to 328 miles an hour, 
with a range of over 1800 miles. It will pack a Garmin G3000 avionics package and will have a crew of up to one to two pilots. Tell me which one you think should be number one or do you think the PC12 definitely holds the place? Let me know in the comment which plane you like the best and thanks for watching the video. It's been Marlon the Aviator and I'm out.